Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read you the story Party Time Read with Finny Level 5. Party Time. Let's read. Party Time. How much is a tin of native fish, Mr. Lee? asked Brian. Natu fish? asked Mr. Lee. Do you mean tuna fish? A tin of tuna fish is eight dollars. I'm sorry, I meant a tin of tuna fish. Here's eight dollars, says Brian, going red in the face. Brian, Brian, Brian was not always clever, but he was a kind. But he was a kind boy. He loved. He loved his family very much, but his brother and sister liked to make fun of him. Brian also thought he was foolish. He or he always made mistakes. He often mixed things or words up. Sometimes he could not get the names of food right. It was Brian's birthday today. I want to have a very happy birthday, thought Brian. What presents are mom and dad going to give me? A, a robot, a storybook, a video game, or a big birthday cake? Brian liked chocolate cakes most. Brian, I've got something for you, said Brian's mom from the kitchen. Oh, is mom going to me a birthday present? Thought Brian happily. I'm very busy now. Can you go to Mr. Lee's shop for me again, please? Here's a shopping list, said Mom. Okay, Mom, said Brian. He took the shopping list, feeling a little upset. Slowly, Brian walked to Mr. Lee's shop. Hi, Mr. Lee. I need two loaves of breakfast. No, two loaves of bread, a bottle of flour, a packet of salad dressing, a bar of chocolate, a packet of crisps and some orange juice, said Brian, looking at the shopping list. Brian, we don't sell flour in bottles, and we don't sell salad dressing in packets. And what's chalk? What's chalker? What's chalker cat? Said, said Mr. Lee. Ah, you want a bottle of salad dressing, a packet of flour, and a bar of chocolate, right? Oh, yes. I'm sorry, says Brian, looking at his shopping list again. How many cartons of orange juice do you need? asked Mr. Lee. I need two cartons of orange juice. How much is it all together? Seventy-five dollars, please, said Mr. Lee, shaking his head. At home, Brian put the shopping on the kitchen table. Then he saw something interesting in the sitting room. There was something colorful. Colorful balloons, ribbons, party whistles, party whistles, horns, and hats on the sofa. They were beautiful. They are going to give me a birthday present. Big surprise party. The balloons and ribbons are for the decorations, and Mom's going to make a cake for me, said Brian happily. Brian was still very happy in the evening. Julie, what did you learn in your lessons today? asked Mom during dinner. I learned how to make balloons with balloons, whistles, and hats to make a clown, said Julie. Oh, those things are not for my party, thought Brian unhappily. That sounds interesting, said Mom. Okay, children, time for dessert now. Brian, I made this for you. I know you like this dessert very much. Thanks, Mom, said Brian happily. He hoped it was a chocolate cake. I think it's chocolate cake. I wonder, I wonder what is dessert. Brian looked at the dessert. It was not a chocolate cake, but mango pudding on a nice looking dish. It's not a birthday cake, thought Brian. He was unhappy, though only a few seconds. But I like mango pudding. I, I can still make a birthday wish. He closed his eyes and made a wish. After making a wish, Brian opened his eyes, but he only saw an empty dish. Brian, why didn't you eat the pudding? It was yummy, said Justin, Justin Brian's brother. But there was no more pudding on the dish. 
Brian took the dishes into the kitchen. He usually helped his mom wash the dishes after dinner. They don't remember my birthday, thought Brian, while washing the dishes. No one loves me. They all think I'm foolish. Later that night, Brian was in bed. He looked out of the window. The moon looked like a big dish of mango pudding in the sky. Wake up, Brian, said a voice. Brian slowly opened his eyes and saw someone. No, he was some. He was something yellow. The moon's so big, thought Brian. Or am I dreaming of this dish of mango pudding? When Brian saw more clearly, he was afraid. He was a talking giant dish of mango pudding. Hi, I'm your birthday fairy," said the man. Said the mango pudding. "I'm here to grant grant your wish." But but you don't like a fairy. You're a mango pudding monster," said Brian. "I'm not a monster," said the birthday fairy angrily. "You made a birthday wish in front of a dish of mango pudding. Remember?" Yes, I remember. Brian made a wish in front of pudding, mango pudding. Brian looked at the big spoon in the birthday fairy's hand. Why are you holding a spoon? Do Do you want to eat me? Asked Brian. It's my magic wand, said the fairy, while looking at a list. Let me see. You want a happy bir- very, very happy birthday? No problem. The birthday fairy waved his wand and asked Brian to go to a sitting room. Wow! There were beautiful decorations, colorful balloons, ribbons, and a happy birthday st- streamer. Good," said the fairy. "What else do you do we need for the party? Ah, some music." The fairy waved his wand again. Julie's pretty whistles and horns on the sofa started to sing some beautiful songs. The hats danced with them happily. "What food do you like most?" asked the birthday fairy. "I like chocolate cakes the most," said Ryan happily. "Okay," said the fairy, and suddenly. Big chocolate cake with candles was on the table. There were also crepes, fish balls, chicken wings, and drinks. The birthday fairy gave Brian a paper paper, paper plate, a cup, and a fork. Brian ate the food. It was yummy. He sang along with the happy whistles and horns, and danced with the hats and balloons. Brian was very happy. Brian said, "A voice, wake up, birthday fairy." Brian opened his one eye. Oh, it was not the birthday fairy. It was his mom. What birthday fairy? Did you have a good dream? Said Brian's mom. Brian, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday! Thanks, mom. Said Brian. But it's my birthday. But it isn't my birthday today. Today is your birthday," said Brian's mom. "It, it's the sixteenth of October. Oh, I thought yesterday was the sixteenth of of October," said Brian. Julie, Justin, and Dad are decorating the sitting room. We are having a big birthday party today," said Brian's mom. "Oh, Brian, Brian thought yesterday was his birthday, but he was not." And, and of course, and of course, Mom, Dad, Julie, Julie, and Justin remembers his birthday. And Brian said, "Oh, you remember my birthday? Of course we do," said Mom, giving giving Brian a big hug. Come on, let's go outside. It's party time. Yes, it's real party time. I hope Ryan had a good birthday and made a good wish. What wish will Ryan will have? Bye.